find the equation of the line passing through the points 3 comma negative 7 and 3 comma negative 5. Okay, well, whenever we are given two points, we must first find the slope of the line using the m equals the change in y in the top, y2 minus y1 divided by the change in x in the bottom there. That is traditionally referred to as rise, the vertical change, over the run, the horizontal change. So let's begin by calculating the rise and the run. The rise, I'm going to use the two y values. I'll let the first mentioned point be my x1 and y1 coordinates. The second mentioned points will serve as my x2 and y2 coordinates. So I'm going to begin by substituting for y2, negative 5, and then subtract from that the first y coordinate, negative 7. Now in the formula, there's already a negative, so I'm going to need another negative. And when we simplify a double negative, it becomes a positive. So that is my rise, a rise of 2. Now to calculate the run. I will start again with my second point, x coordinate 3. And subtract from that the first coordinates, x coordinate, or the first point's x coordinate 3. And, ooh. I have a zero. Now what happens when you try to divide something by zero? Let me just try it here. Two divided by zero. Ooh, see, we cannot divide by zero. That is something that's not possible. So that is sometimes just called undefined slope. And what types of lines have undefined slope? The types of lines that have undefined slope are vertical lines. Now, let's go on to the next point that you would usually do after finding the slope if you're looking for the equation of the line. Using the point slope formula, which looks like this, let's try plugging in what we have so far. y minus y1 would be negative 7. And the double negative, again, is going to end up becoming a positive. Then on the other side of the equal sign, we have the slope, which we have calculated as undefined, times x minus x1 would be 3. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. How do you calculate an undefined slope times this quantity x minus 3? Well, you don't. <laughs> it's not something you can do. So how do we know how to handle this? Well, one way that might help you understand is to look at the graph. Okay, so here I have my points plotted. Let's start down here. There we go. All right, so we have a line going through those two points. And notice that it is straight up and down. You cannot walk on it. So how do you make an equation out of this? Well, th the thing to notice is that x is going to be 3 no matter where you go along this line. And y can be infinitely many things. And actually, it can be any real number anywhere on the number line. So that means that y is arbitrary. We only need to define the condition on x in order to have an equation for this line. So all we need to say is that x is equal to 3. And that is the answer. As simple as that. 